Dr. Sudhir Srivastava, uh, Chairman and CEO of SS Innovations Private Limited. So surgical robotics have been around for almost now uh, over 22 years. And uh, initially, mainly there was one system and uh, they enjoyed monopoly for a very long time. And this was intuitive surgical Da Vinci robotic system. So currently there are almost around 6,800 systems globally, but almost 90% of those are between United States, Europe, and Japan. So the rest of the world and almost 7 billion people do not have easy access to the robotic surgery. Now, over the last, I would say, four to five years, many new companies have entered the field. And there are companies in Germany, uh, Japan, uh, China, India, and uh, Singapore. So almost there are a total of 16 companies today that have entered the surgical robotic field. Uh, but the Da Vinci system is still dominates. Now, when we come to India and having recognized that there is such an uneven penetration, so the main factor was the cost. And other than the cost, there was a steep learning curve that was associated with earlier technology. So in India, uh, we have a total of 140 systems only over a period of the last 20 years, which is not very much for a population of almost 1.4 billion people and 70,000 hospitals. So startups, uh, uh, it is uh, a very wide subject. And I will try to kind of uh, focus on some areas. Uh, when we take India and make in India in terms of the medical uh, devices, uh, unfortunately, we have not invested much in medical devices in India today. And even at this point, we have been importing almost 70 to 80% from outside. Uh, it was almost 90% that came from outside. And over the last 20 years, we have dropped it only by roughly around 10%. So unfortunately, the reason for this is uh, the longer gestation period, uh, the regulatory process, the existing competition from overseas suppliers. So those have been a challenge. And so I think where we see various bottlenecks. So firstly, uh, although we have a whole number of IITs and engineering colleges in India. But unfortunately, the experience in the robotics and particularly in surgical robotics is lacking. So there is a lack of mentorship. Then these are very expensive projects actually. It takes number of years because of the complexities involved. And so essentially, people do not have startup capital. Even the funding that is given as grant from the government is very minuscule. You know, something like 10 to 20 lakh rupees does not go anywhere uh, in terms of the type of manpower required. So, uh, so one is the financing. Secondly, is that the academic institutions, again, don't have resources. And so even though we have very bright minds that are coming out of the, our engineering colleges or IITs, uh, they do not have the practical hands-on experience. And so, unfortunately, because of that, and also not having many companies today uh, in India that are involved with the medical devices, so the opportunity also for these engineers does not occur. And finally, uh, we have a lack of actually some of the critical components that are not manufactured in India. So we still end up importing a very significant portion of the critical components for the medical devices uh, from outside. So the SSI mantra system, it is very different than uh, almost all other robotic systems that exist today. So the main comparison almost always occurs with the Da Vinci system. So our system, uh, starting out with the technology first, uh, so the system has an open phase surgeon command center where surgeon actually gets to sit straight. In Da Vinci system, you sit hunched over. Then also with Da Vinci, you have a very limited around eight inch type of view, which is also 720 
p resolution, not 1080, which we have. Also, when you have your head buried, you're not aware of your surroundings or where your hands and feet are. So an open face console, first of all, we have a very large monitor. It's a 32 inch monitor, true high definition, 1080 3D view. Secondly, we have a head tracking camera on top, which provides safety. So if I'm not looking at the monitor and I turn my face away, even though my hands may move, but the system will not respond. Uh, so one must look at the video screen to operate. Then we also have a large 2D screen. So uh, it's a 23 inch screen in Da Vinci, they have uh, almost like inch and a half what we call tile pros or little windows whereby one can get different images. But in my opinion, again, as a surgeon, uh, it's really uh, meaningless because you cannot tell any details in those images. So in our case, we have this 23 inch monitor whereby you can get really uh, regular size CT or MRI or echo or angiogram and also we have this software which gives you a virtual image of what is happening on the table side. Although in an open face console, one can just turn and see what's going on, but it's right there in front of, and it's in real time, dynamic. So you know exactly where the arms are or what the instruments are doing, are they too close to each other and so on. Uh, hand controls are designed very ergonomically, so it allows you without stress of the muscles to be able to hold and perform various surgical, very fine tasks actually. Uh, the console itself is prepared right from the beginning for up to five arms. So no other surgical command center to my knowledge has ability to control five arms from the same command center today. Uh, we have very, uh, classical foot paddles that have different functions in relation to certain instruments and certain other functionality, including the control of the camera. Uh, going on to the vision card, so our vision card has 3D monitor also right from the beginning. No other company has 3D monitor view that is being given to the table side team as part of the standard system. So the idea was to create something that will be different. We are also able to offer this to more specialties. Uh, most people are not touching cardiac and in cardiac, so we can do everything from head and neck to chest, to abdomen and pelvis. But also on top of that, we have developed certain very specific instrumentation for cardiac surgery. And no other company has that. So in cardiac, it becomes very crucial because most patients in cardiac surgery end up having their sternum split, which is associated with certain complications and long recoveries. So I think SSI mantra probably will be the only one to be able to do full spectrum cardiac surgery. Uh, and so cost effectiveness is another major difference compared to every other system. And so once it becomes affordable, so the vision is to literally help as many people in the world who are what uh, is called the forgotten world by other companies. Uh, you know, almost 7 billion people don't have access. All kinds of developing economies don't have robotic systems. So the idea was to create a system that is technologically very good in terms of its performance. At the same time, it's cost effective. So our system is roughly, if you take into consideration, is around one third the cost of the Da Vinci top model with similar performance and more specialties.